Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from Techie B and today we'll take a look on MIUI 9 4 OnePlus 3 and 3T so without wasting any time let's get started this is one of the amazing room which I have found this room also has OnePlus 5T gestures which I'll show you later in this video we'll be taking a look on the features what are available on this room benchmark results battery sets installation process and we'll also be telling you few bugs which I have noticed while using this room so guys this room has play store pre-installed on it you don't have to install it manually first let's go to the settings and check the software information so going to settings here you can find an option of my device under this you go to all specs android version is 7.0 mi ui version is 8.2.1 that is a beta version and the security patch is 1st jan 2018 and on this room things like volt services fingerprint everything is working fine i did not find any kind of issues so the main highlighted feature of this room is the oneplus 5t gestures let's go to the settings and check out that gesture feature which is available on this room so that feature can be found under settings system and device this is a gesture feature that says full screen display you can go to this and if you are not able to find this under system and display then what you need to do is you need to go under display option and you need to enable screen buttons option over here if this is not enabled then you won't find that option enable this and you can go back and search for the same feature that is full screen display so when you open it for the first time it will show you the guide and if you again want to see the de gesture demos then you can use these options which are available under full screen display so i'll show you one by one all these three gestures which are available on this so make sure to enable this and full screen mode you can select the applications which you want to have under full screen mode after that first one is go to the home screen swipe up from the bottom of the screen so let's go here and see a demo so once you swipe up it directly goes back to the home screen to open recents it says swipe up and pause so just swipe up and hold it to go to recents next one is go back so you open this and you will have an example over here swipe towards your right the next one will be swipe towards your left so these options are used to go back recents and home screen so trigger app section is not working as of now if you tap this also this is not enabled in this room these features are really great you just need to swipe up to go back to the main home screen and swipe and hold to go to the recents and to go back you just have to swipe towards your left or from the right side so now let's take a look on the features what are available under this room so going to display here you can change system fonts text size you can also change system animation screen of animation options are also available here and you also have full screen mode that is immersive mode which have immersive on immersive off hide status bar and hide navigation bar you also have an option of gesture anywhere in this you can enable gestures and you can also change the position of gestures as you can see it is towards the right hand side which is not seen now so i'll just increase the width of the area so that you guys can see the triggering point of this gesture so once you have done this you can add custom gestures over here so i've added c for camera b for browser let's go back and try whether it works or not and draw the custom gestures which you have selected so i'll, I'll make c and you can see the camera opens up as soon as i draw c gesture under personal settings you can change the led light color according to the battery level you have few more customizations under notification and status bar under status bar you can enable show lt instead of 4g show notification icons and you can see if you enable this you'll get the notification icon available there show connection speed hide connection speed at zero value here you have few more options like battery indicator hide search bar hide weather hide brightness panel under settings you also get second space which allows you to create separate space on the device if someone needs your device you can just use the same option and keep your personal data away from your friends and family 
Under additional settings, you will find few options of quick ball which is similar to the virtual home button. After that, you have button and gesture shortcuts which can be enabled or disabled from here like screenshot, launch voice assistant and few other options of split screen. So if you are not aware about split screen, this feature was introduced on MIUI 9 which can be enabled by just tapping the recents and you get an option of split screen. Tap this option and drag the application which you wanted to use it for split screen. One hand mode also gives you options to select the screen size which is 4.5, 4.0 and 3.5 inches as per your convenience and this feature is working great as I'll show you you just have to swipe from left to right or right to left app lock features comes pre-installed on this and you can hide your applications using this feature on MIUI 9 so now talking about the battery backup which I've got it till now going to settings under battery and performance battery usage battery use and going to hardwares so here you can see the screen usage time is 2 hours and 48 minutes with 44 percent of battery still remaining so a pretty decent battery backup which i'm getting on this miui 9 and one more thing what you'll notice is the shadow under icons so this can be disabled from settings you guys can check out all the settings because this room has lots of customization options you also get few themes on this room which are pre-installed that can be also found under settings under themes so you get default black and limitless so black is the new addition which they have done or else we used to have default and limitless on miui 9 now talking about the benchmark results due to some reason geekbench application is not running here so i've taken benchmarks using antutu bench application so under this results were 1,49,948 Pretty good results on MIUI 9. Only issue which I found on this room was the video recording. The device records the video but the issue is it doesn't get saved. So as you can see I have started the video and if I stop this it won't be available under gallery. There are two cameras pre-installed on this. This is OnePlus camera and if you start recording on this camera it records the video but after stopping the video you are not able to play it under gallery. So only these two bugs which I have noticed and the third one which is a minor bug that is only for OnePlus 3T that the GPS services are not working on 3T but on OnePlus 3 the GPS services are working fine. Now let's take a look on the installation part. So guys make sure to download the exact file which I have given in the description below. Once you have downloaded that file reboot your device to recovery. Once your device boots to recovery you can go to wipe, advanced wipe and select everything from here excluding internal memory. I have already done it I am not doing it. So after that you can go to install. Choose MIUI 9 ROM which you have downloaded from the description below. Swipe to confirm flash. I'll flash this ROM and after that I'll reboot the device. Your device will take somewhere around 4 to 5 minutes to boot up. Complete the initial setup and you are good to go. If you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below. So guys as of now only this much in this video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.